a walk, but the personal bodyguard has become Hollywood's latest fashion trend. Now, we got the ultimate scoop behind the luminaries with one star bodyguard who dishes on a few secrets. I see a lot of things. I mean, I've seen some, some really outlandish things. I mean, uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but I mean, we've had situations where, I mean, girls have shown up to the hotel room, don't know how they got the hotel room, naked, you know, in their G-strings. Having worked with celebs like LL Cool J, Justin Timberlake, and Trish Stratus, our expert tells us that toting some bodyguard bling has become the latest fashion thing. It's come a, a major accessory in the business because people now, I mean, they want to be able to, number one, especially when you're working, like, private parties and stuff like that, when they're going to even on an, you know, when they're not in the public eye and they want to go out, say, to a regular bar and just have a drink and just relax, they can't have that just walking out on their own. I mean, they're, they're not accessible like, the, you know, the average person in the, that can just walk down the street, walk into a club and sit out. I mean... There's fans everywhere. There's there's some good fans. There's some crazy fans. There's some good paparazzi. There's some crazy paparazzi. You've heard stories of Lindsay Lohan getting chased, you know, down a street, you know, and getting into a car accident. Which is why the business also comes with some grave risks. Take a dangerous situation Derek encountered while protecting rapper Ja Rule. There was an incident that happened whatnot in a venue that we were at, and a customer decided that, you know, he wanted to take a shot at one of the celebrities I was working with. And it ended up escalating into a real big brawl. And in the process of, you know, of dealing with the person, I ended up getting severed open with nine stitches, you know, on my eye. And, I mean, it healed. But you know what? It's, as I said, it's, it's, it's the risk you have to take. And for some particular events, stars even request that their personal security come with extra insurance. There's been certain situations where we've been asked to, you know, carry a weapon or carry a firearm, especially when you're working with hip-hop artists and you're working with two different rival, you know, one camp's over here, one camp's over there. But when you put a bunch of celebrities in a room with only one VIP area and one access of liquor, things get a little bit out of hand when not. Which means it's sometimes easier working with actors than it is with music stars. For example, a hip-hop artist can be put out an album and he's in the spotlight for a month. Where a film actor, they're consistently in the spotlight. They're always, there's always somebody watching them whatnot. You know, there, there's always a camera, there's always paparazzi, there's always fans. But if an artist, for example, loses steam, he fades off into the background and you don't hear about him until he puts out another album. The hip hop artist, you know, controversy for them is credibility in the streets. As an art hip hop artist, when you're surrounded by controversy, whether it be Ja Rule, 50 Cent, who have all been tons of controversy in their lives, it's what sells records. And given the overwhelming nature of the biz, there are some outlandish requests that go beyond the call of duty. Some want strippers. Some want you to get them just groupies and just fill up the room with groupies. Some, you know, want you to get narcotics. And with all this, there is no doubt that this business is definitely taxing. You finish an event, you go to another event. You finish that event, you go to another event. And I mean, you could go to 20 different places in less than an hour, get in maybe 6 o'clock in the morning, and then have to be back up again at 7.30 to do the next premiere, to do the next photo shoot, to do the next, you know, interview. You know, I don't even want to know about all the things he's seen. Really? I do.